Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our shoulders and our biceps. We're going to start off with the greatest stretch. As usual, five repetitions on each side. Get going with our dynamic stretching part. A good way to, you know, make our shoulder joint go through compression, internal rotation and external rotation while also getting our hip muscles, our lower leg muscles completely stretched out. It's a dynamic movement. You don't need to hold the stretch for more than five seconds. You just have to flow through it. After completing the greatest stretch, we do our mandatory deep squat, wherein we sit in a deep squat for at least a few seconds, maybe 15 to 20 seconds, even 30 seconds. You can also sit in the deep squat for a minute and that's absolutely fine. You can do it at any point of the day. It's just that it needs to be done once in a day to ensure good hip mobility. Now, I often face challenges with my shoulder joint, especially my left shoulder joint because I'm a side sleeper and I often sleep on my side left shoulder. So I feel a little bit of restriction. So I do at least a couple of mobility drills before I start lifting weights to ensure my joint is completely primed up. So here I'm doing plate around the head. So basically you take a plate which you can control. I sped up the video a little bit because it's boring to watch me turn a plate around myself. So you just turn the plate around yourself, taking your shoulder throughout the internal and external rotation phase just to warm up our shoulder. Do it a couple of times, 10 repetitions and that should be good enough. Now, before I start with weightlifting, I started off with cable ray dead flies. Absolutely negligible weight. I don't need to lift extremely heavy. You can also do this with resistance band. The least amount of resistance band would be absolutely fine. You basically keep your elbows at a 90 degree angle and try to drive your hands out without moving your elbows far away from your body creating that small amount of contraction in your ray delt and entire posterior shoulder joint so as you can see here i try to keep my elbows as close to my body as possible i have missed recording the part wherein i have used a couple of uh, cushions basically tucked in between my elbows and my uh, abdomen obliques so I can keep my elbows together while doing the exercise so that my elbows never flare out because if they flare out i drop the cushion or the towel so you can try that out if you feel that your elbows are flaring out while performing the cable flies after completing the cable flies we moved on to the weightlifting part wherein i have done three sets 20 repetitions of ray dealt raises with the dumbbell it has become my favorite exercise in terms of getting my good ray dealt contractions going on I try to go as heavy as possible and control the motion only when the dumbbell starts coming down in front of me. It's a very slow control. I don't try really hard. Uh, my main range of motion is to push it as far behind as me possible. I tuck my chin in oftentimes just to make sure my traps are less involved and the entire contraction is going through my ray delt muscle. You can also do this particular exercise with a barbell, which we have done previously also in all my previous shoulder workouts, I used barbell. But this time, since we have already done the ray delt flies, uh, you can trust me, that is ch more than challenging enough if you have done properly in a controlled manner. So after doing one exercise, the second exercise for a ray delt should be more than good enough. You should be getting a good amount of pump going on. After completing our ray delt flies, we move on to the bicep workout part, wherein we start off with high cable curls, the usual, the staple, three sets, 20 repetitions each hand. We don't take rest in between uh, while switching in between the hands. We take rest of 45 to 60 seconds after completing both our hands. Now you can challenge yourself by not taking a break and try to go as long as possible, com uh, completing all the 60 repetitions in one go. It is extremely challenging and I often fail after completing 40 to 50 repetitions. So I realized it's better for me to do 20 repetitions at a time. But you have the choice of trying to go as long as possible in 20, 20 repetition intervals. Like you do 20, switch hand, then you can go for a switch and start 20 immediately and see how far you can take it. Make sure the weight is challenging. It, it should be pulling you hard back straight so that your bicep is stretched out. You have to face away from your bicep so you basically once you're standing turn your chest away look a little bit downwards and then start curling so basically we're training our bicep in a stretched position to create maximum growth in our bicep muscle in the long head especially 
after completing those i figured out to do seat calf raises on the leg extension machine uh, machine you need not do it in this particular manner if you have a seated calf raise machine please do use that this is just me makeshift uh, makeshift equipment so you can also choose to do uh, leg raise uh, sorry the calf raises on the leg press machine or standing calf raises or donkey calf raises any kind of calf raises which you prefer to do I wanted to do seated calf raises because I have not done this in a quite some time. So I wanted to train with seated calf raises. Three sets, 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions. As you know, five, 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 five repetitions. We accumulate 20 repetitions in five rep intervals after completing 50 reps in one set itself. So that accounts to a total of 35 repetitions. We have to go slow, steady, and you can take 45 to 60 seconds break in between. Make sure you give enough time once your heels are down because the stretch part is as important as the contraction part and when you're resting in between the reps you want to rest in the stretched part if it is too much of a trouble you can obviously step down stand up or relax your legs for a couple of seconds and go back to your five five rep intervals after completing those i moved on to lateral races with dumbbell three sets 15 repetitions in a very controlled manner as you can see as the weight comes down i try to control it as much as possible and you can see my delt muscle fibers just firing up trying to control the weight as they come down i try to keep my elbow slightly bent so that the weight is not uh, basically my elbow is not acting as a fulcrum i want the entire weight uh, to be or the shoulder joint to be the fulcrum and the obviously the wrist and the dumbbell is the load point if uh, if you didn't understand it i'm sorry it's just the physics physics terminologies so uh, basically we want the weight to be on our shoulder only after completing those i moved on to incline bench dumbbell curls now you want to set up the incline in such a manner that you get maximum amount of stretch again we are working on our bicep in a stretched position since our shoulder is now pulled back and our bicep is behind behind our back basically then the mid behind our midline of our body so the bicep is stretched and when you try contractions from here it's a lot more work for our biceps to do than when they are just beside our midline of body wherein we train more of our short head we need to train that part also it's quite important too but training in a stretched position in my experience gives you a lot more growth and a lot more size so three sets 20 repetitions control manner make sure you try to keep your elbows behind the midline of your body they will tend to come up a little bit as you start getting tired or the fatigue starts kicking in consciously try to push them back and let them be behind the midline of your body after completing the bicep work we jump back again into our shoulder work now here we do bubble front raises with elbows in a fixed position at a 90 degree angle so that we get a little bit of more extra stretch once the barbell comes down and touches our leg as you can see here how my shoulders move a little bit far behind since my elbows are bent so it gives me a little bit more space to take the barbell behind make sure you take the barbell all the way up ahead of you so that from elbow to your shoulder becomes it uh, gets into a straight line or perpendicular to your body so here you can see as i raise the barbell up the elbow to shoulder uh, length of my arm becomes perpendicular to my body so that's what we are focusing here so a lot of front delt work i am pretty sure you will start feeling extreme amount of blood flow into the, your muscle after the second set itself just push through try to get those 20 repetitions in after completing those we move on to reverse grip curls now for while doing reverse grip curls if you are uncomfortable you can always use a easy bar I am using a straight bar because I am fine with it. You can also use straps and gloves if you feel that your grip strength is getting compromised while you are gripping in reverse. So we do as many repetitions as possible every set. We try to rep out, finish off our bicep in, at a strong note. Here again we want to keep our elbows beside us as we near fatigue as we start failing because remember all the work we have done till now, our shoulders and our biceps are tired and even in this motion you can see how my shoulder and my bicep both are working somewhat so your elbows might tend to come up a little bit try to control them try to keep them beside your body and keep curling as strongly as possible 
control the weight as much as possible. Yes, it will be challenging because of the fatigue, but try to control it as much as possible. For my last exercise, again, we are going to go back to the shoulder workout, wherein we are going to do overhead raises in a slant position. I've done this earlier too. Now, in today's video, I just missed out on recording my decompression, but we already know you can decompress by doing circles or, or with your hand or just do a vertical hang for 30 to 60 seconds and that's enough decompression. So that's all for today. We finish off with our overhead races, three sets, 12 repetitions. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this workout was good for you and you liked it. If you did like, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thank you and have a good day.